Hey, what's up? It's your boy Marcel coming to you with another sick vlog. I'm gonna need you to smash that like button. Let's try to get this video to 10 million likes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm doing this at the same time. Are you gonna smash that like button? Uh, already did. It's not even out. <laughs> so you probably don't know who that is. That's my girlfriend, Shirsten. She's, she's never been in a video before. I've tried to keep her a secret up to this point, but I guess I gotta come clean about her existence. We're, we're on our way to a festival. <clears throat> There's actually a lot of things I want to say in the beginning of this video. Hopefully I can get this all out. First of all, I'm sorry that I didn't make a video last week. I had a bunch of stuff going on, so uh, that just didn't work out. Also, I wanted to say hi to the guy that recognized me at the uh, Durham Bulls game. That was really cool. If you ever see me out in public, please say hi so we can take a picture together. And I wanted to say something else too. Oh, and lastly, this video is going to be kind of a different video because this is a vlog. We're actually going somewhere right now, which is exciting because normally I don't go anywhere. We're on our way to Merlefest. When I was looking for something in that bluegrass state, Mama filled my plate and I stay up late. A little fire and little raise in hell, lovely southern bells in a rebel yell. Hey, so we've already proven to be the the world's worst vloggers because we drove all the way here We went to Walmart. We got uh, our camping set up and in fact here it is. Let me show it to you The most fun thing about our tent was that one of the uh, one of the poles was broken because we borrowed this tent because we don't have our own tent because We're poor people. We used to have more. Yeah, we just moved. We too. just didn't move with it. What's that? Why don't you show some of the things you got? Well, I don't know how to work it. Um Something like this. Oh. Oh, there's a strobe mode, which is really important. And I bought us a um, a bathroom flashlight as well to go to the bathroom with. <laughs> you like how, how bougie I am? I put all my stuff in my Urban Outfitters bag. Yeah. Like I didn't just put it in a Safeway bag. I was like, no, Urban. I hope that the audience knows my hair always looks this stupid. You guessed it. <laughs> it's got chocolate. And it's not from Costco. Um, I got us some Cliff Bars for the morning time. <laughs> that's that's our food. Let's uh, do this air mattress on. Yeah. What are you giving it to me to blow up? <laughs> I'm on my money shot. Don't steal from my dog. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to do one handed. It's our bed for the night. I think we should just leave it like this. I like how you're putting the like gross felty part on that wet grass. Oh. Yeah. It's really exciting to listen to that sound at least. I love that. Yeah, you can put some Sierra hole on this. Yeah, right. You can play mandolin along to this. <laughs> kind of weird how much of you is in this video and how much of me is not in this video. I'm sorry. I'm also wearing my fat shirt. I wear this one a little bit. That's good. Okay, so uh, here's the finished bed, which is great. What's not so great is that uh, that's the tent. So you can do some mental math there. I don't think it's yeah. math, it's more visualization, yeah? Things have gotten considerably worse since you saw us last. So the air mattress won't fit in the tent. So I guess it's just some kind of pad for us to sleep on, right? I think that'll work out okay. But if that wasn't it, check this out. Look at all of these chairs for all of our friends. Who's coming to hang out? Hey guys, look, we got a fix. Uh, I know you're impressed. It uh, took a uh, little... Oh my god, this is so not focused. Okay, let me make it worse is really what I'm trying to say. Um, we got a fix is the point. Um, that's it. I don't know. Marcel told me to talk to the camera, and um, but we fixed it. We got this heavy-duty stuff, and it'll last, I assume. So that's good. And I've got the car organized. Um, I already mentioned that I am bougie, and so I brought a full-on suitcase and probably enough outfits for the week. Marcel, he's disappeared to make friends. <laughs> No 
It's just raining. We didn't bring... Is our first day a fail? I don't think today is a fail. Look at us here, having a good time. Huh? Throwing back some cold ones. Throwing back a cold one with the boys. She right. cat's not even here. You don't have your boys. No, Sushi Cat. Yeah, maybe right here I'll just insert some footage of Sushi Cat for all the diehard cat fans out there. Yeah, it's funny. That cat's so popular, like, in the videos, but, like, in real life, that cat's, like, a jerk. He's been throwing up all week. He's everywhere. not a nice cat, yeah. He's nice. I mean, he's nice to he's us, like... but, like, if you're, like, if he doesn't know who you are, he's awful to you. I forgot my book in the car. It's getting right nearby. So the rain never let up. This is just turning into a big kind of fail compilation blog. It's just all about showing you all the things that went wrong and all the things that we did wrong. <laughs> day one. Imagine what day two, three, and four will hold. Think, can we not put me in this anymore? <laughs> Is your hair not holding up very well? No. Again, imagine what day two, three, and four will hold. Sweetheart, there's money for the weekend. Money grows with time. If you're worried about the time apart, promise we'll be fine. Everyone is waiting for the rest of their lives. All right, so uh, we made it through the night. Finally stopped raining there at some point in the middle of the night. We're going to do our first real day at Merle Fest today, so we're actually going to go into the festival, and hopefully we're going to do some jamming. There's also something really cool happening in the morning today. There, there was this band that I played with uh, in Bellingham, Washington, called Queen's Bluegrass, and they had existed for <coughs> 30 years or so before I joined the band. The guy who founded it was named Ernest Queen, and the Queen family is kind of famous. They made a documentary about them and everything, and some of the Queen family is performing today. So I'm going to go see them. It's kind of an interesting moment because I never got to meet Ernest Queen. I only joined the band after he passed, so this will be my first time meeting other blood relatives of his. Hey, what's up, gang? So, um, we did a bunch of things. First of all, I, I think the big highlight is that we got to see um, some of the Queen's family perform here at Marlefest. <laughs> And they invited me to a little uh, family get-together they have in September, so I'll see if I can go to that, see if we can make that happen. The other thing that we got to do, which was really cool, was we got to see a band called the uh, Barefoot Movement, which is a band that I opened for 
maybe three years ago, I opened for in Portland. And I got to see Barefoot Movement uh, twice today, and I got to talk to them, which is fun just because, you know, getting to see bands that you worked with. You should check out Barefoot Movement if you haven't. They, uh, I know in 2014, I think they got the Momentum Award at IBMA, so they're award winning. Anyway, um, we came back to the camp just to eat a little, drink a little. We also found out that right around here there is a brewery. I'm going to show you where the brewery is. It's right over there somewhere. We got some moonshine. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go back to the festival. We're gonna try to catch some acts. I know we missed some great things today. We missed Trey Hensley and Rob Ikes, but I've seen them before. I've gotten to meet them before, so I I think I can justify that in some way. But we are gonna go back to the main stage and try to catch more of those acts. Maybe I'll get a little more footage to show you. But yeah, it's been great. We saw some great picking, of course. We saw Trey Hensley on stage for that big jam, so we didn't miss that too much. Hey guys, so we're on day three now. We're on our third day. So a lot happened last night too, even after the update. We we went back, we met our neighbors, we had some fun, we did some jamming. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go back to the festival today. Um, today's got some exciting stuff. I know today there's what they call the reunion jam, and it had John Cowan from Newgrass Revival, Sam Bush, Brian Sutton, Jerry Douglas, Bela Fleck. I'm sure I'm missing people, but uh, just a bunch of famous people on stage at the same time. Um, so that's going to be really fun to see. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of us uh, jamming last night. It was just real dark, so I didn't think it would show up at all. Maybe tonight, if I do any more jamming, I'll try to get at least some audio or something. I'll bring the camera around. I got this shirt at a thrift store. I don't know. <laughs> uh, my nose burned. That's it. That's all I got. Let's get that nose burn. Does it look good? I tried yeah, to cover it in highlighter. <laughs> yeah, the only other real news is that I did have a gig scheduled for tomorrow, <clears throat> and we had to cancel it because I'm really starting to lose my voice. <clears throat> I'm sure you can hear it on the camera, but it, it just kind of comes and goes, and we're kind of bummed about that. We'll see. Let's get into the festival. So we're uh, we're back at the campsite. I got in the car because there's a there's a bunch of kids yelling out there. But um, we just finished seeing um, uh, Sam Bush, Bela Fleck, Jerry Douglas, Brian Sutton, John Cowan, a bunch of you know just kind of bluegrass heavyweights on stage for a big jam. You know it was one of those kind of big moments. It's exciting to see. It's it's like a bunch of the people from Newgrass Revival and a bunch of people from Tony Rice Union, all people that I've never seen before because I was living on the West Coast and I've just been a woodshedder for years. Right, I wasn't going out to concerts and seeking this stuff out. So it was it was a pretty big, kind of cool emotional moment for me. For me, you've probably seen uh, all the footage, um, all the people that were on that hill and how far away we had to sit, but it was just, it was really cool. There are some more shows tomorrow, so that would be on Sunday, like Steve Martin and Steep Canyon and some other stuff, but uh, we're, we're probably not going to stick around for that, just because, like I said, I've been really under the weather, and we've been sleeping on the ground, and I've been waking up, feeling real sick and everything else, so we're likely going to go back home, 
tonight just call it a little bit of an early weekend. That doesn't mean it wasn't fun. It was a great experience, wonderful thing. And I know I said I'd get some jam footage, but I don't think that's gonna happen because we're gonna head back just a little bit early. So yeah, I hope you liked watching this video. I'm probably gonna do one recap when we're on the road, but we're gonna go pack up all of our equipment right now. So maybe I'll get some more concert footage, but you'll see that if you see it. If you don't, you'll probably see me on the road after this. So let's do it. Some old day. Hey gang, so we're finally uh, leaving Marlefest. We got to see uh, Tommy Emanuel and uh, Jerry Douglas play, which was super cool. But uh, yeah, we're pretty happy to be heading home. You know, these long weekends, sleeping on the ground is not that fun. So next week, I'll be doing my normal content again. So if you hated this video, I'm really sorry. I'll be teaching some guitar related stuff next week and we'll be back to the normal thing. Um, if you did like this video, I'm assuming you watched all of it because you're one of my faithful fans and you'll watch anything I put up. I know there's like 20 of you. Um, thank you for watching it. Please leave a comment or give this video a like. I won't go through all my normal stuff. If you watched all this video, I think you know all the normal places to find me. So yeah, I guess I'll see you all next week. Oh. Cool.